Hey guys, what is up? It is Austin here, bringing you guys another video. Today, I just have some random Cold War gameplay. It's not the greatest game in the world. I was just trying to upgrade my RPD to get it level 50 so I could get it gold and zombies. And you know, I had a couple clips here and there, but it wasn't the greatest game. But that's not what this video is about. What I wanted to talk about today is Modern Warfare 2 again, but this is like the last kind of Modern Warfare 2 video before, you know, we get some actual gameplay because you can start playing the campaign early here really soon. I wanted to make a video on if I'm actually going to be playing the game and covering the game throughout its life cycle. And the short answer is yes. So I know I made a lot of videos bashing Modern Warfare 2. I have made some videos where I gave it compliments. I just want to throw that out there as well so people don't just think I'm a hater of the game. But the short answer is yes, I'm going to be playing it. I don't know if I'm going to be playing the campaign early because I actually haven't even fully pre-ordered the game yet, but I might just because I want to play the campaign early. You get some rewards in the multiplayer for it. So, you know, that'd be nice. It's always nice getting a little head start in multiplayer on launch night. But um, the short answer is yes, I'm going to be. And I'm going to be posting the multiplayer as well just because... I want to give the game a chance, you know, obviously it's only been about a month from the beta, so it's not, the game's not going to be terribly different and drastically different, but you know, last year was the first time I didn't get COD the night it came out. Vanguard, I actually waited like two weeks to get Vanguard and then went on sale on Xbox Live and I got it for like 25, 30 bucks. So Modern Warfare 2 probably won't just because this game's going to be insanely popular. Everyone loves to suck off Infinity Ward. So you know, the game's going to be insanely popular, and I want to play it because I'm trying to hold faith that the game is somewhat good. Because like I said, there were elements of the multiplayer I liked, and you know, it just, it feels weird to me skipping out on a COD. The only COD I ever fully skipped out on was Advanced Warfare, and that was because I was like 14, 13 when Advanced Warfare came out. I had no job, no money, no income, so like, I would have to ask my parents. And I didn't care about the game. I was like, why would I care about Advanced Warfare? I got Black Ops 2 and Ghosts. So that's the only COD game I fully skipped out on. And, you know, I want to make content on the game because I'm just really holding out hope that maybe there's going to be some things that are good about it. And maybe there's some things that they'll improve on. You know, who knows? Maybe with enough cyberbullying, Joe Seacott might give us a regular radar back. But it would just feel weird. And I love Cold War, but I don't want to make Cold War content exclusively for another two years. So I, I can really see myself playing Modern Warfare 2. Now, will there be daily Modern Warfare 2 videos? Probably not. I'll still probably keep the content a little more spaced out with Modern Warfare 2 and some other games because I've been playing Overwatch 2 recently, and it's been fucking fun. Like, I haven't loved it. It's not the greatest game ever, but I've been having fun with Overwatch 2. And, you know, there's a bunch of other games. I play a lot of Fortnite because I think Fortnite is low-key. I don't even think it's a meme anymore, man. Like, the game is actually fun. Like, I've been playing in a decent amount in the past few months. Almost a year at this point, I've actually been playing Fortnite a lot more. And I think it's fucking fun. So, there's that. I've been playing Resident Evil Village on my Xbox Series X. And there will be DLC coming out, which, yes, I'll be making videos on the Resident Evil Village DLC. I'm super pumped about that. But... There's a lot of stuff I want to make videos on. I don't want it to be exclusively Modern Warfare 2. But, you know, that first week that MW2's out, all my videos will probably be Modern Warfare 2. Just because there's going to be a lot to cover. I mean, there's been stuff that's been talked about that I haven't covered. You know, we got told we're getting Seasonal Prestige. We know when Season 1's coming out, there's going to be a fan-favorite map coming back for Season 1. So, what's really worrisome to me is Season 1 comes out on the 16th. I think it drops the same day as Warzone 2. The issue that I'm about to have is... Are we not going to have any fucking remastered maps for the first uh, three weeks of the game? Because I don't trust Infinity Ward's map design, so that's very worrisome for me. Um, but obviously, we um, you know we got some time to go before the game officially comes out. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens with it. I'm very interested. And um, for as much as I bash the game, I want to give it a fair shot. So... Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help me on that road to 750 subscribers. If you enjoyed, let me know what you thought about the video down in the comments section below. And be sure to stick around. I try to post at least four or five videos a week. And uh, yeah, like I said, that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about Modern Warfare 2. And if you're going to be playing it when it drops. Because I know a lot of people skip down on Vanguard. So I'm curious what you guys think about Modern Warfare 2. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. This is Austin. And I'm out. Peace, guys.